Welcome everybody to a very special episode of Nerds Geeking Out. Today we are going to be discussing the revolutionary, the legendary, the influential, the amazing Nintendo Entertainment System. What's it like to play the Nintendo Entertainment System? set comes as shown with two game packs. Other games sold separately. Now you're playing with power. I am Benjamin. This is... I thought he was talking about me, but I'm just Justin. AJ. Kaji BZ. And once again, we are going to allow you guys to reach into our world and enjoy this pleasant discussion we're going to have about this amazing game system. So, let's start with you, Justin. Nintendo Entertainment System. How did this change your life? How did this system, how did these games mold you into the nerd you are now? Well, that's what I grew up with. <laughs> I mean, it's a classic. When people of my generation think of video games, it's the NES. It's not the Super Nintendo, it's not, it's the NES. I mean, it revolutionary. Right, lies. Yes. So, um, but yes, it changed me a lot because this is my first taste of video games, and these are the games I grew up with and love still to this day. And um, yeah. Any kind of favorite game you have in it? What's one game that you can think that you can say pop your cherry on the system? Tecmo Super Bowl. Really? Yeah. Tecmo Super Bowl. I put probably put a good. Uh, Three years solid into that game. Playtime. <laughs> AJ, you're looking very festive with your awesome Nintendo shirt right now. <laughs> what? Tell us about the Nintendo, man. Oh man. First system I actually owned. Instead of playing on like everyone else, like Atari, all that. This was my first system I actually owned. And I went all out. I had the power glove. I had the gun. Oh, power glove. I had the zapper. Now we're playing with power. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible concept, by the way. <laughs> Great marketing campaign, yeah. though. Horrible thing to use, though, to try to play a game. Did you watch The Wizard? That I know. Was, the Wizard. It, it was, was awesome. awesome. Yeah, the Wizard. The power glove. The, the wizard, wizard made it look awesome, <laughs> but it doesn't work that way. The way he worked, used it. The kid had it in his own suitcase. He walked up and he's like, yeah, I'm playing with power. And he busted out and he was like holding it like it was like Excalibur, you know? And they started playing, you know, what was it, Rad Racer or whatever? And he was just like, that's right. And you're like, the whole time you're like, stop shaking your hands. You're really not playing the game right now, kid. Like, you'd, you'd be flying <laughs> off the road if you did that. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. I've beaten all the Marios that have come out for that. Oh, yeah. To this day, I've still never beat Paperboy. Oh, Paperboy. <laughs> oh, I feel like or it's infamous sequel, Paperboy 2. Paperboy. Uh, I didn't even <laughs> try that one just because. Uh, Paper why did they make the obstacle did. course so hard on those? Yeah, you would you would get to the end of the level after throwing out your papers. And you do it all over again. And then you had to go to the obstacle course to actually get the bonus points. And, move to the, and you would always die in the obstacle course. And yeah. be, oh, 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 no, now what am I going to do? <laughs> go deliver some more papers. <laughs> What was your favorite part about Paperboy? Like, what, 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 like, what made you actually turn that game off and want to throw your controller? Because the obstacle course. The obstacle course. Was like, like, you think you're lined up with the ramp to jump through the goddamn hoop, but apparently you're not lined up to go through the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's even worse than that? Is the grates, the drains, the storm drain grates, oh, yeah. and the lawnmowers. <laughs> that are never being pushed by anybody. Yeah. They just come flying down the driveway. <laughs> it's out of control. It's true. It's true. It was. It was a bitch. That game. 
there were many games for Nintendo that really make you want to break one of those nice little rectangular paddles in half. I'm surprised that both of my controllers are still in full working condition. <laughs> hey, they're made a little tarnished. So. They're not the... Well, I mean, it, you tell me how they're you... They're 10 years old. You should feel the new ones. They're more than 10 years old. They're, 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 they're my age. age. These get, no, the, we got this in 1989. I was three when we got this. <laughs> so these are 26 years old. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a long time. Still They're not broken half. That was back when they were built to last. That's amazing. Yeah, that was back when everything was built because they knew kids were going to be handling it and they knew kids would put it through the abuse. I mean, we were leaving the house with this in a box and I dropped it and I laughed. I was like, you can't do that with the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One nowadays. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> but what sucked even worse was all the saving data was on the cartridge. Yep. You rent it. Someone else, you gotta re-rent it before someone else does. So yep. you like return, okay, I need that back, please. <laughs> or they save right over your save data, and that's like mother. <laughs> well, what's funny is Final Fantasy right here, the first ever Final Fantasy. I've had this game since I was six or seven. I guarantee you if I pop this in and turn it on, my save game's still there. And I'm like on the third crystal. I still have never beat this game because it's so damn hard. <laughs> Can I borrow? Can I borrow the system and play that? Because those. <laughs> I've had. He's shaking. He's going through withdrawals. Look at him. AJ's having, <laughs> AJ, our Final Fantasy expert, is having withdrawals, seeing the Holy Grail for the first time with his own eyes. I, I had it when all my stuff's gone. I had. I've owned every Final Fantasy. I have beaten every single one of them. He's got tears. This can't one beat that one. <laughs> this one is nearly impossible, dude. It is. You. It, I played this game for like a year and a half straight. That's one thing about the system. Did you steal that for Family Video? No, I bought that for Family Video. Okay. See, one thing about the system, though, I mean, you cannot, most of you cannot beat because they're that hard. Yeah. But like the games nowadays, you, I mean, you can beat they're them They're beatable. Right. You know? Right, games nowadays These are so games easy. are based off hand-eye coordination mm -hmm. and kind of a, there is a system to it or kind of a pattern if you can... Yeah. Follow, most of it is really hand-eye coordination. It is too. Like I mean, the, even the Super Mario Brothers, which I like. Every time you fall in that hole, it really makes you mad. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you have to go way back to the beginning, or where the checkpoint is. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think there were checkpoints in the first games in Super. No, Super when Mario. You, when you lost your life, you had to start the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. the NES versions, there yeah. they just discovered that there is a cheat code. In Super Mario Brothers, that nobody discovered like last for the NES. Years. Yes, you have to uh -huh. hold like select and start at the same time, and the game won't restart you at the last level. You just died on. Yeah. No one knew that. No one knew I that. I didn't know it until now. Right, that was the point. Is no one knew that until like now, which is crazy. Like who who thought about that? Like who discovered this new cheat code in a game yeah. that's thirty years old? <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Well, you're you're above thirty, buddy. Bruh. Corey, what was what's yeah, one of your? Uh, took me that okay, to so when my family came around, I didn't. I never got a Nintendo. I got a Super Nintendo when I was ten years old, and that would have been, been rich. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. When I was ten, family. which would have been twenty years ago. Uh. Twenty years ago. Yeah. Even still, I. I. Okay. Nineteen ninety-five. <laughs> I don't know how much it cost then. And besides that, my grandma it. bought it. I think so I, I got the day that it, or the day that I got it, I had Killer Instinct, which I didn't, I wasn't allowed to play until I was 13. And shut up, okay? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and I spent more time on that game than probably I spent on God of War. And I've spent, I've beaten like most of them 100 percent. But bruh, I played that, I played Super Mario World, and hands down, I think my favorite. If I had ever had this system, the first game I would have gotten was Metroid. The challenge is Metroid. The power is Nintendo. Defend the planet Zephus against the evil Mother Brain. It's survival or destruction. Do battle or die. Metroid only from Nintendo. And I've always, always, always wanted to play that game, because... From what I've read, sure, she could only shoot six inches instead of across the entire screen, but the concept of, you know, you got, you start out with a power suit and you end up being basically invincible by the end of the game that just, for something this basic, even if it, 
even if everybody is nostalgic and loves it, I want to see, yeah, it, I would have loved to play Metroid. That would have been hands down my favorite game, and it, Super, Nin, er, Super Metroid is, is hands down my favorite game, even with the uh, newer Metroid games they came out with, but, yeah, it's nostalgia looking at this, and I had, I did have, uh, what is that? Mario, uh, we're All-Stars. So I played all of them. You guys played the remastered version of all of them, though. They fixed all the glitches and stuff with Mario All-Stars. Yeah. You never got to play the pure Mario games where you can get stuck in a block. Or a Google yeah. Invincible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I would have gotten mad getting stuck in a block at the last... Because even with all those glitches, the Mario games, the last... Or the first game... I didn't beat until I was like 24, because <laughs> it was difficult. Yeah. BZ, you're somebody who's really unique. You're from our generation. You were raised on the Nintendo, like all Back of us. Room, yeah. I mean, you were just talking about how you couldn't remember what the name was of your favorite game, and you think uh, you found it. Um, if if, if you guys are kind of wondering what they've been looking through, that's the uh, I've had that since I was like seven years old. That's the Nintendo Encyclopedia Volume Two. Now there's three volumes of that. That holds about 300 games Nintendo had at the time, and it gives you a breakdown description of all the games that were out. BZ discovered the game he believes was the one he played when he was a kid, which was Iron Sword, right? Yeah. Iron, Iron Sword, Sword, Wizards and Warriors. Now, you have a son. Yeah. How old's your son? He's four. You just bought a Nintendo, right? Uh, yep. Actually, the beginning of the summer. And you bought a bunch of games for it. I got about ten. How did your son react to Nintendo for the first time? Oh, he loved it. He just wanted to play all the time, especially when it comes to the Duck Hunt game. <laughs> he had he had that gun in his hand and just keep on shooting until he ran out of bullets. Did he get a duck? He probably got maybe one. But I mean, he loved it. Every time I play, he wanted to play with me. I'm like, no, I, I want to play because I want to be a kid again. You know? <laughs> right, right. But I mean, obviously, I let him play. But obviously, my favorite game back when me and my brother had one of these games. And, our systems, it was in Super Mario 3. Because you know how you had those mazes and everything, and you had you claim that um, level yours. Yeah. But if you go through the maze and you land on your, or your partner lands on yours, right, lands you on get to push it. the button real quick yeah. so you reverse them. Yeah. And whoever wins that, wins it claims that level, or that spot. <laughs> I probably got mad every single time, because <laughs> I wanted to have that spot of his. I think that was the a big, sibling rivalry yeah before that with mario you can only play separately that was like one that i mean the original mario brothers game on the arcade well no the arcade oh, yeah, the was arcade. that exact thing it was two people facing each other jumping at each other but that was it so when they integrated that into mario 3 people thought it was new because nobody yeah. ever played the arcade mario brothers and it was crazy because it was just like now you and your sibling can actually play Mario at the same time. You don't have to wait yeah. for your brother. You get your Mario and Luigi. Right, yeah. right. You don't have to wait for your brother, who's always the dick, who always plays Mario, who never dies, to die finally. Yeah. I mean, they still had two players and all, but is this the whole point? You had to wait until that other person dies before you get the chance of playing. Right. Which sucked because we're like, okay, you can die anytime, so I can play. You know, I know. Yeah, I got a bath to break. I got food in my system. But I want to play. Just die already. I think, um, yeah, I just, Nintendo, it's it's 30 years now, this thing has been out. 30 years. 30 long years. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and what's funny is, it took it one year before the greatest game, or arguably the greatest game of all time came out, and that was Legend of Zelda. And that's when Nintendo really took off. You know, and it was, it, it, it was a fantastic system to have. I think everybody in America had to have one of these in their living room. And what was great about it is it was the simplest thing. You have five buttons on the controller. Mm -hmm. And if you can't figure out what those five buttons can't do, then you should not be playing video games. No, there's, four buttons, right? there's only four buttons and then a there's directional five. pad. That directional pad because there's a button. You can't push <laughs> it. You can't. Yeah. That's yeah. What I, I will say Zelda was uh, when I played that first Zelda. Yeah. That's why I have, well, two of us have our tattoos. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they can see it. Maybe. Honestly. Triforce of Power. Yep. <laughs> Justin has one too. Uh, Triforce of Wisdom. 
And I'm supposed to have a track force of courage, but it requires money. He, he hasn't had the courage yet to get it. <laughs> <laughs> his uh, girly friend's like, no! <laughs> no, she said I can get it. I just need to have the expendable income to get it. So I have to make up the excuse to have well, money. Well, it's probably $25 just to offline. Most shopping ones are like 30 40 so... But still, but yeah, that's a was, case of beer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, beer uh, and a half. Case of beer and a half. But uh, it, it, yeah, it's um, I mean, all the accessories that came out for it. The power pad. <laughs> Did you play track and field on that? Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. That didn't yeah, even work half the damn yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> the zapper. Greatest freaking gun ever. No. Um, that we all we talked about the power glove. No. Yeah, the four way adapter. The four way adapter. The play gauntlet. Oh, dear you God, had the, the gauntlet. you had the different kind of uh, uh, game pads. Also, you had the one with the joystick. Oh, the uh, the fight, the Mega Fire one. Yeah, there, yep. yeah the joystick one. Too. Yeah, and also that was the era when they first came out with the rapid fire controllers too. Yes, it was. Yeah. They had the it, turbo controller. It looks like a almost like a Super NES controller yeah. before the Super NES. Yeah, it was. This... I both loved and hated those. Why? Because whenever my brother played a uh, fighting game with me and used it, I was obliterated. Yeah. <laughs> One thing about those controllers too, like you're pushing down and you can hear it. You can feel it too. <laughs> right. That's the, I think I think this game system right here is what taught us to swear. <laughs> well. no, 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 no. The Silver Surfer taught me how to swing. <laughs> Silver Surfer, yes. But, but it's funny because game. kids nowadays don't realize how Worst good they have ever. it. Kids nowadays think that they have the that they're like, oh, lag is the worst thing ever. Oh, I can only play Call of Duty for three hours. Oh, blah blah. There's like four games you can no. play nowadays. You it's wanna... either a shooter or a God of War clone. It's so it's a Halo clone, a God of War clone. Um, a Final Fantasy clone or a Skyrim clone. That's it. Sports. That's it. Sports have always been sports, yeah, but I'm yeah. saying like newer games that come there's, out. Yeah, there's one of those four. You know what's worse than lag? <laughs> <laughs> Try doing that to your Blu-rays on your Xbox One. <laughs> we'll see what happens then. The Blu-ray will probably laugh at you. Systems are missing this though. This is what we're we're the money for. Oh, Yo, video game dudes, talk to me! This is Game Genie, from Kaloo, the awesome video game enhancer for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Attach it to most of your video games. Double Dragon 3 or Super Mario Bros. 3. You can go to any level, live forever, jump higher, make your own effects, and get radical firepower. <laughs> go to any level, jump higher, stay bigger, live forever, Game Genie, the radical video game enhancer. The Game Genie. I mean, this came with a booklet that was like 400 pages, and then if you got Nintendo Power every month, they gave you special codes. You wanted to beat Jason Voorhees finally on the world's worst horror game. You just pop that sucker in, you got yourself the axe right off the bat, so you can just slap Jason Voorhees in the face with it and get the game over in one hit. But no, if you don't have this, you gotta run around and jump until you get the so until you get the knife, until you get the candle, until no fuck this game. But yeah, Game Genie, this is where it was at. And a lot of kids nowadays are missing out on the whole cheat code thing. The whole cheat code thing is gone now. You it, can't do it, it anymore. It, it is, is now. There's no more cheat code you can do. However, the PlayStation 2 was the last system to use a Game Genie. The which game was Shark. named as the Game Shark. Game Shark, yup. I had that for my PlayStation 2. Yeah. I had a Game Shark from. The last Game Shark I owned was for my DS. PlayStation 1 was mine. And now my PlayStation 1, oh god, I had that thing so souped up. I could play any game I wanted. If there was a game that came out in Japan that I wanted to oh, play, you had the chip to I ordered the yeah. Japan See, game. I you know, had... I couldn't understand. Get out of the damn thing, I still beat those games. <laughs> <laughs> I had the chip to uh, GameCube. Yep. So I played Biohazard. <laughs> I will say, though, this has been... This system right here, even though it was the start of the video game revolution, this was also the last time Nintendo had 100% in the market. Mm -hmm. This was the last yep. time Nintendo was the main maker. After this, Nintendo always had stiff competition and could never get their feeding, their, and could never get their foot back on the ground. Thanks to Sega, first. We'll get to that next. You guys stay tuned. We have another episode coming for you. It's gonna be awesome. Like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and 
we'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. Stay right where you are. Suck it! Rip it. <laughs>